Any real college football fan will tell you it's all about recruiting. That is why Amy Campbell is here. Today we're talking about Penn State. Amy, how's their 2018 class looking so far? Maggie, they're hot right now, right? James Franklin has got them looking better than maybe they ever have. Number four class in the country, still behind Ohio State, who's sitting there at number one. They've got 22 guys in this class. Could be one of their best classes in a very long time. Offensively, Saquon Barkley and Deshaun Hamilton are the two names they're going to have to replace. How can they do it? Well, a lot, to, like you mentioned, a lot to replace there. But they've got some offensive studs coming in. We're going to start with a five-star receiver out of South Brunswick High School in New Jersey. Justin Shorter, 6'4", 213, the number three wide receiver in the country, the number 12 prospect overall. He's been committed to Penn State for well over a year, so an absolute cornerstone for them. He's a guy who's going to be an absolute mismatch problem for defenses. You put him opposite Jawan Johnson, who's already at Penn State, they're going to be really tough to stop. And obviously, they're losing Saquon Barkley, an elite guy. It's going to take a group to fill that void, we already know. But in 2016, they signed a stud in Miles Sanders. This year, it's Ricky Slade out of Virginia. He's a four-star running back, number two all-purpose back. He is an incredibly versatile guy. A couple weeks ago, he had an eight-touchdown game, five touchdowns rushing, receiving, returning. He does it all. Great balance, great vision, super elusive. If this guy gets a crease, he's going to be gone. Also, great name, Ricky Slade. You can see them calling that name out in Happy <laughs> Valley when he surely reaches the end zone. Give me some other areas that Penn State still needs to fill, though. Right. Well, like I said, not much room in this class with 22 guys. It's a very well-rounded class. But there are a couple of defensive ends that they're going after. They'd like to add a couple more in this class. And they can be a little bit picky about it. But there are some big names still on the board. We'll start with Tyreek Smith, a four-star defensive end out of Cleveland, Ohio, 6'3", 260 relatively new to football but very athletic he's picked it up very quickly he visited Penn State for the whiteout win over Michigan a huge atmosphere there but I mentioned he's from Ohio Ohio State is all over this guy and if he can get him it could be his best recruiting victory yet and then we got Jason Owe, another four-star defensive end. This guy's from New Jersey, 6'5", 236, a little bit different player, long and lean, former hoops prospect. Like Smith, it's an Ohio State-Penn State Big Ten recruiting battle, both announcing at the Under Armour All-America game on January 4th. So we're going to be waiting a little bit to see where they go. Okay, let's just look at a little history here. James Franklin, since he arrived in Happy Valley, has improved his record every single year. But Amy, how's he improved his recruiting classes? Maggie, this man does not sleep. He is relentless on the recruiting trail on Twitter when it comes to coaching. We knew he was a great recruiter from what he did at Vanderbilt. Now we're seeing he can coach as well. As you mentioned, they've improved on the field every year. When he was at Vanderbilt, his last year at Vanderbilt, signed a number 26 class in the nation. That does not happen at Vanderbilt. Twice in his three years at Vanderbilt, he out-recruited Penn State. Last season, they had their number 16 class, his first full year there, number 14, improving dramatically. Now they're sitting at number four. It could be his best class ever and one of the Nittany Lions' best. The way you said Vanderbilt, that should light a fire under those Commodores. Maybe we'll be talking about them sometime. And they're recruiting Amy Campbell. They miss James Franklin. Let's they just, probably yeah. do. Appreciate it, Amy. Thank you. Thanks.